Excellent, excellent. Welcome to Comedy at Club 54. You guys ready for a great show or what? Because we got one. You ready? I hope you are at home too. Our first guest this evening recently returned from a very successful tour in London, England, and the Toronto Star recently said about him, he's Canada's most politically incorrect comedian. You're about to find out why. Please welcome Mr. Russell Peters. Myself. My name is Russell Peters. I'm East Indian. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. It's kind of cool being East Indian, living in Toronto. I can hang out at the airport. Walk up to people when they come off the planes. Can I help you with your luggage? Yeah. Screw around with my friends when they get in my car, you know. Where to, buddy? So I'm East Indian, my name's Russell Peters, man. Go figure that one out, huh? <laughs> That's my real name, too, you know? That's just like my slave name or something. Man. Like... <laughs> when Indian people give me the hardest time about my name, they walk up to me on the streets, they're like, buddy, what? what's your name? <laughs> it's Russell Peters. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not. Come on, man, you're Indian, I'm Indian. What's your real name? It's like, what do you want me to say, Mahatma Gandhi or something? Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love Indian names, you know, because they're so different from everybody else's, you know. But sometimes they go a little overboard with the names. They don't realize what some of the names mean in English. I'm not even lying to you right now, I met this Indian dude last week. The guy's name was Sukdeep. The guy's real name was Sukdeep. Could you imagine living your life with a name like Sukdeep, man? Somebody's looking for you one day. <laughs> Yo, man. You suck deep. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I just came back from England last week. Anybody here going to England? <laughs> Two people, good. Oh yeah, I saw you there. Uh -huh. I'm not homophobic or nothing, but did you know they call cigarettes in England? Did you know this? I wish somebody had told me before I went there, man. Because I didn't know this, man. I was on the train, some guy walks up and he's like, Ron, mate, you got a I went, oh. You got a sister, huh? And I'm thinking if they call cigarettes over there, what do they call over there? Huh? Right, look at those two bloody Rothmans in the corner over there. Flipping de Maurier's. Drive on the wrong side of the road over there. Man. <laughs> Screwed me up. Every time I'd cross the street, I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> Nothing coming. Brown. Uh, cheers, everybody, huh? Cheers. Don't you hate this, guys? You go to a bar, you order a drink, they stick a straw in it. <laughs> You're trying to act all cool, walk up to ladies at the bar, you know? <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> Anybody here had a tattoo? Ladies? I love when ladies have tattoos. You guys aren't ladies. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> now, when I get a tattoo, they look kind of painful, man. I was thinking about getting, like, elephant ears right here. <laughs> I figure the ladies are really like that, you know? Come on, honey, meet Dumbo. <laughs> Problem is, I'd have, like, an aardvark or something. You know? <laughs> Enough with the peanuts. Give me ants. You know. Uh, I like to clear up a lot of myths about East Indian people. 
I know you guys think a lot of weird stuff about us. I'd like to thank those Indian movies for that. Oh, you know you've all watched one at one time or another. You're flicking channels. <laughs> guys are stopping thinking, hey, it might be like an Italian movie. You might see a boob. <laughs> Nothing, man. You won't even see them kiss. Now all the problem is all you got is a bunch of people scared to walk through parks because they think Indian people are going to pop out from behind trees and start singing to them. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Any hockey fans here tonight? None, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking in Toronto, we should start like our own East Indian ice hockey team, you know? What do you figure they'd be called? Like the Toronto Maple Seeks? You know? Oh, think about it, man. They wouldn't have to wear helmets. <coughs> Just blue and white trainers, man. No, could you imagine the commentary for them? And here comes Sing down center ice. He passes it to Sing. Sing shoots it over to Sing. Sing knocks it to Sing. Sing shoots on Sing. Oh, Sing misses. Uh oh, they're fighting now. Here comes the ceremonial daggers. Uh-oh, he's unraveling his turban. Uh-oh, they're on a corner now. What's this? They're opening up a store. It's good to see we got a room full of racists. That's always comforting for me to know. People at home, you know what's going on here. Oh, uh, man, I just got my license last year. Took a while to get my license. Figured if I got my license too soon, my dad would make me drive a cab. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Love being in Toronto, man, because I name all the streets after people. And when you get in directions, it always ends up sounding sexual. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You get directions to in Toronto somewhere, you're going to be like, well, you get off on the gardener, <laughs> you go down on John, and you end up in Leslie. That's right, Leslie goes both ways. Any time you get there, you need a cigarette. <laughs> Hopefully not a uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I got in a car accident last year. Anybody get in a car accident? <laughs> Liars. Beep, 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 beep. No, nah, man, it's weird. You're driving along and everything is cool, man. But the minute you get hit, doesn't it feel like everything else is happening in slow motion? You know what I'm talking about? You're driving along, it's like. I love women's breasts. I, uh, sorry. I, I love them. Small or large, it doesn't matter. Don't feel bad. Um, you know, I appreciate them, you know. I just wish I could have a pair, you know. Not on me or nothing, you know. I'm not, I'm not a freak or nothing, you know. Just like a nice pair that I could carry around with me, you know. Every now and then, just reach over. Womp, womp. It'd be nice, you know. Kind of wish I could install them in my car where the airbags are, you know. Just drive around, keep crashing into all day, you know. <laughs> jokes about being Indian at the top of the show and I gotta tell you I'm really proud to be Indian and you know I understand why people laugh at it, Indian people actually I still don't understand it but uh, I've accepted it you know and I guess it's because of our accent you know and I personally don't have one but my dad's been blessed with one and I'll admit it's not the coolest accent in the world you know it's, 
Not something I'd want to fake at a club to impress chicks with, you know. <laughs> Not like a Jamaican accent or something, you know. You could fake it and sound pretty cool doing it, you know. Like a Jamaican guy could walk up to a girl at a bar and fake his accent. Hey, gal, come here. So what? Uh, you want to dance, man? <laughs> or an Italian guy, you know. You can fake his accent and sound pretty cool doing it, you know. Hey, baby, let's friggin' boogie. <laughs> You never catch an Indian guy doing that, though, you know? Faking his accent at a bar. Excuse me, baby. But you're wanting to dance? You guys have been a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Stay brown. Peace. Benny! Keep it going for the politically incorrect Russell Peters. Hey, I'll be right back. If you like comedy at Club 54 on TV, you'll love it live. For tickets, just call. Hey, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time for the best in stand-up comedy. You know where it is, comedy at Club 54. Remember, if you want your joke of the week on the air, you got to send it in. Good night and thank you. Good night, Mom. I love you. If you like comedy at Club 54 on TV, you'll love it live. For tickets, just call 1-800-7-CLUB-54.